Hey friends, Tom here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install R and RStudio on a Mac. I'll also suggest a starting point if you're using R for the first time. Now, you might wonder, what's the difference between R and RStudio? R is a programming language built to let you analyze data. It's a bit like the engine of a car. It's very powerful, but it's hard to use by itself. Whereas RStudio is a tool that lets you write code in R and see the results. It's a bit like the dashboard and the wheel of a car that lets you tell the car what to do. So in this video, I'll show you how to install both R and RStudio. So first, let's install R. To do that, you need to navigate to this link, which I'll put in the description below, and move over to the left-hand side of the page and click on the CRAN link under download. So click on CRAN and then select a location in the world to download R from. If you select a place close to where you live, it will speed up the download. So I live in Australia. I'm just going to pick this link here. Now I'm going to click download R for Mac. And next we need to pick the version of R to download. I highly recommend just picking the latest version of R. And at the moment that version is R 4.0.2. And if you're watching this at a later date, it might be a slightly later version of R. So click on this link and uh, then download that file. Now I've actually downloaded it before uh, this video just to speed up the process, uh, but you can see that it's downloaded to this location. You, normally you just click save. Okay, so once R has downloaded, you can navigate to the downloads tab in your browser and then click on R 4.0.2 uh, in this case. So we're going to Click on that link and it will open up. Uh, it will open up an installer that looks like this. So let's step through this installer and it'll take about 30 seconds. So we'll click continue, uh, continue, continue, ex agree with the license. Uh, then we'll use the default install location. Then it will ask you to type in a password. So I'll do that. And now we're going to click on install software. Whoops, wrong password. Click on install software. And now it will install R and this process just takes a few seconds to complete as it move the, moves the items into place. So uh, once that's finished, R will be installed. So give it, there we go. So the installation was successful and we're going to click close. So now uh, we're going to keep the installer, but you can move it a bin if you want, keep the installer. Okay, so now R has been installed. So now we're going to install R Studio. So to do that, again, navigate to the link in the description below. Uh, Scroll down the page, click on the download link underneath the free version of RStudio desktop. So the free version, download, and then download RStudio for Mac. Click on that link. And again, uh, you just basically download that file. And uh, again, I downloaded it before this video to speed up the process. Uh, so just uh, save that. Uh, now we'll go to the downloads tab in our browser again, click on the RStudio link. Uh, and uh, it will open up a window that looks like this. So all we have to do here is we just need to drag the RStudio uh, button over to Applications, and that will install RStudio. So uh, there we go. It's now installed RStudio. I'm going to close that window, and now we can move over to our Applications window and click on double-click on RStudio. And now it will open up RStudio. I'll show you what RStudio looks like. So yes, we do want to open this application. And uh, it will open up a window that looks like this. Um, and uh, basically now RStudio is installed and we can start working with data in R. Now I'll show you one place you can go if you're using R for the first time. It's a book called R for Data Science, which is a free online book written by Garrett Groleman and Hadley Wickham. I'll put a link in the description below. This is a fantastic resource where you can learn how to visualize data, transform your data, do exploratory data analysis, and basically get started working with R. Uh, so I highly recommend this book if you're using R for the first time. And I wish you all the best on your journey learning and working with R. Take care.